Due to the number of abandoned matches registered, you must wait zero days, zero hours, 27 minutes to match make again. Now, EA implemented a system in rank to encourage everybody to use all the weight classes in rank. So as you can see right now, it is heavyweight and light heavyweight. In, I don't know, 17 seconds, it's going to be the featherweight division and the lightweight division. And what happens is when you search for a fight, the game randomly will feed you a weight class. It could be a featherweight, it could be lightweight. And there is no guarantee what weight class you're going to get. So it's completely randomized. You get whatever weight class you get and you have to fight in that weight class. Now, if you refuse to fight in the weight class that you've been given, let's say you back out, you close out the game, you load up the game again and you try because you're trying to get a specific weight class. If you do that a number of times, you're going to get timed out. You're going to get put on a timeout and the timeout could range between, I don't know, it's, it's minutes, minutes. You have to sit out and wait before you can match make again. Like right now, if I go to, if I go to look for an opponent, that's what I'm going to get. Due to the number of abandoned matches registered, you must now wait zero days, zero hours, 18 minutes to match make again. Now, what is the issue with this? Well, if I'm a content creator and you're trying to find a fight in a specific weight class, say right now I'm trying to get a fight uh, in the heavyweight with the heavyweight division with Junior Dos Santos. I already got one fight. I'm trying to get a second one. But the game kept feeding me light heavyweight over and over and over again. Now, I've, I've already accepted multiple fights in the light heavyweight division. I just literally did uh, a random fight with Forrest Griffin just so I can be done with that weight class. And hopefully I get the heavyweight division. And once again, the game feeds me light heavyweight over and over and over again. So I kept backing out and now, now I'm, I'm, I'm timed out, right? So now I can't use Junior Dos Santos. Now, of course, if I want, I could go to Quick Match and and use JDS. But like the the sort of fighters you're gonna run into Quick Match are not the sort of fighters players you run into uh, on ranked. On ranked, the level of players you fight are much higher. Most fighters, most players you're gonna fight in Quick Match are not going to be high level. And if I just do quick matches, it's not going to be as exciting because I'm going to win 99.9.999% of those matches. Meanwhile, in quick mat, in, in ranked, I'm constantly running into players who not only beat me, but players who are more than capable of beating me at, at any given time. So it's more interesting, which is why I'm mostly trying to play ranked, right? So this system right here, I'm not sure who asked for it, but it is such a hindrance and it's such a pain in the behind to deal with for those of us that are content creators, for players who are trying to get a fight in a specific weight class, right? So I don't like just complaining without offering any kind of solution. I don't just want to come in here, bitch, moan and complain and then log out. That's not really what I want to do. So how about this? Okay. I'm not going to ask you to do away with this system because I completely understand why it was done, right? We don't want we don't want players just camping one way class and just using the same fighter over and over and over again and, you know, damning the rest of the way classes to never, you know, find and fight. I completely understand why the system exists. But would it be unreasonable to tweak it a little bit? So how about this? I'm going to suggest a couple tweaks. Tweak number 1. Why don't you make it so that it's not random? Let the game remember what weight class it just served you. So let's say the, the weight classes that exist right now is the featherweight division and the lightweight division. I'm pretty sure that's the next weight class. All right. Featherweight and light and lightweight. So let's say I search and the game gives me featherweight. Now, if I fight in the featherweight division and I complete a match in the featherweight division, if I search again, Serve me lightweight. If I complete a fight in lightweight and I search again, serve me featherweight. So do it so that, okay, he did this weight class, then the next weight class. He did this weight class, then the next weight class. Don't serve me the same weight class over and over and over and over again. Don't make it random, right? Have the game remember, all right, he just literally did this weight class. We're going to give him the next one. Doesn't that help with what you guys are trying to do anyways?
If you're trying to get us to play multiple weight classes, then that system that I just suggested does that even better. Right? Number two, if a player backs out, if if I if I search and the game feeds me the featherweight division and I back out, okay, well then, the next time I search, feed me lightweight. Feed me light. Do tweak the system so it remembers, all right, you know, we fed him fed the, the, the featherweight division. He didn't, he didn't want it. He backed out. Now we're going to feed him the next weight class. So then I fight in the next weight class. Like, do it that way. These two suggestions, in my opinion, will completely remedy this situation, right? Because we have one hour, one hour to try to do a fighter showcase, one hour to try to get, I mean, I try to get like three fights. Like, imagine a situation where I'm trying to get three fights in an hour, trying to get one specific weight class. It is really tough. Now, it is easier if I am, let's say I'm trying to use a fighter like Conor McGregor. Right, that's easier because Conor McGregor is in both weight classes, so who cares, right? I can get a fight in the featherweight division and lightweight division, who cares? But when you have a situation where the fighter is in only one weight class, it is such a pain in the behind, right? Not just that. This jail, this timeout also counts when you back out because the ping is too high, which I feel like maybe there should be a way for the game to register that you're backing out because the ping is too high. Like if I'm if I'm constantly being fed the same exact player with a ridiculously high ping and I don't want to take that fight because I don't want to have a laggy match and I back out and you feed me the same guy again and I back out and you feed me the same. The game is keeping tally of how many times I back out and eventually it's going to put me on timeout because I don't want to fight somebody with a terrible ping. Right? It just makes the online ranked experience so tedious. Like you, When you're done playing ranked in UFC 4, you don't walk away relaxed. It's such a stressful experience, man. You know? Which is why like, I rarely play ranked unless I'm trying to like, record a video. It's, it's, just, it's just completely unenjoyable. And when you get to a weight class like the women's division, look at that. The next one's going to be flyweight. Uh... Women's straw weight, women's bantam weight, that's three weight classes. It's even harder. See, I'm trying to use freaking Holly Holm, for example. Holly Holm is in the women's bantam weight division. Good luck. The game might just completely feed you fly away, straw weight, fly away, straw weight, fly. Never give you bantam weight. And you're just constantly backing out and backing in again. And geez, Louise, cycle between the weight classes. I'm going to feed him featherweight, or I'm going to feed him flyweight. He fights flyweight. I'm going to feed him strawweight next. He fights strawweight. Now I'm going to feed him bantamweight. That's going to help. I think we can all agree that that's going to be a better system as opposed to this random stuff. Anyways, that is it. I'm not going to spend too much time here ranting and no... If this is the very first video of me that you're watching, I don't do this often. I don't just come on here and complain and rant about something. You know, that's not my usual content. But I think this d deserves a dedicated video because it's such it's such an annoying issue that we have to deal with. And I really don't think it should be that way. Of course, I'm not expecting you guys. I'm not expecting EA to fix this for UFC 4. They're done patching the game. But for UFC 5, right, if this system is not is not being changed, at least make these tweaks to it. We're all going to be grateful. Thank you. Thank you.